In today's era of globalization, cross-border cooperation is becoming increasingly common, especially in the automotive industry. Recently, the Chinese automotive manufacturing giant, Cherry Automobile, announced that it will establish its first production base in Europe in Spain. This is not only an important step in Cherry's internationalization strategy, but also a milestone in deepening cooperation between China and Spain in the automotive field. Dear viewers, welcome back to our channel. Through today's video, I am delighted to engage with the audience and explore the following topics. 1. What considerations are behind Cherry's decision to establish a production base in Spain? What impact does this have on the Spanish automotive industry and economy? 2. How is the Spanish government supporting the development of the electric vehicle industry? Can this support effectively promote the popularization of electric vehicles in the Spanish market? 3. What types of vehicles does Cherry plan to produce in Spain? What is their competitive strategy in the European market? According to the latest reports, the Spanish government and its chief negotiator, EV Motors, have revealed that they are engaged in in-depth discussions with the Chinese automotive manufacturer, Cherry Automobile, aiming to reach a significant agreement on car production in Spain. If this plan is finalized, it will not only bring significant industrial development to Spain but also signify an important expansion step for Cherry Automobile in the European market, as it will establish its first production base on the European continent. The Spanish Ministry of Industry has expressed high confidence in this potential cooperation in a formal statement, indicating that it is expected that both parties will officially sign a cooperation agreement on building a car manufacturing plant near Barcelona in the coming days. The statement further emphasizes the significant significance of this cooperation in promoting local economic development and the job market. According to a spokesperson for EV Motors, this week, a delegation composed of Spanish government officials visited China and held productive face-to-face -face negotiations with Cherry Company. These discussions focused on utilizing the facilities of the former Nissan Motor Company plant, which closed in 2021, to realize the production of Cherry automobiles. This plant in Barcelona was once the main production base of Nissan in Spain, but its closure resulted in a significant number of workers becoming unemployed causing an impact on the local economy and community. Through these negotiations, Cherry Automobile is expected to take over some or all of the facilities of this factory, enabling it to restart production lines, which will help recover a considerable portion of the approximately 1,600 direct jobs lost due to the closure of the factory. Additionally, this move may also create new job opportunities for related supply chains and service industries positively impacting the economic vitality of the entire region. Although specific details of the cooperation agreement have not been made public, this news has already attracted widespread attention from the industry and media. If all goes well, Cherry Automobile's production plant in Spain will not only provide the company with a gateway to enter the European market but also symbolize the revival of the Spanish automotive manufacturing industry and a new milestone in economic cooperation between China and Spain. As negotiations enter the final stage, all parties involved are optimistic about reaching a mutually beneficial agreement. Nissan's important production base in Barcelona has already partially changed hands, with the new owners being the Spanish electric motorcycle manufacturer Silence and the local engineering group QEV and EV Motors. These two companies plan to transform the factory into a production center focused on electric vehicles. In March of this year, EV Motors acquired full control of this center, marking their full responsibility for the operation of the factory. EV Motors plays a crucial role in this transaction, not only collaborating with Silence but also engaging in intensive negotiations with the Chinese automotive manufacturer, Cherry. A source familiar with the internal situation revealed that EV Motors intends to utilize the Ebro brand to produce a range of new vehicle models, including pickups and electric vans. This plan to expand the product line may involve future production and business collaboration with Cherry, 
although specific cooperation details have not been disclosed publicly. Cherry Automobile has not yet made an official response to the above reports. However, as one of the Chinese manufacturers promoting economical electric vehicles in the European market, Cherry began selling its car products in Spain earlier this year. With the continuous growth in demand for electric vehicles, Cherry and other Chinese brands are seeking to establish stronger market footholds in Europe and improve their local production capacity through such cooperative relationships. This move also reflects the transformation trend that the global automotive industry is undergoing, with more and more companies investing resources in developing and producing electric vehicles to meet increasingly stringent environmental regulations and consumers' preference for environmentally friendly vehicles. By transforming Nissan's factory in Barcelona into an electric vehicle manufacturing center, Silence, QEV, and EV Motors hope to seize this trend and prepare for future green travel demand. According to previous reports, the Italian government is negotiating with the Chinese automotive manufacturer, Cherry Automobile, to attract it to establish production facilities in Italy. An official from the Italian government revealed that they have not yet received news about Cherry's choice of Barcelona, Spain, as the location for its new factory. An anonymous industry insider stated that although Cherry continues to communicate with the Italian government, they have received almost no specific response. The insider also confirmed that negotiations with Spain are proceeding smoothly. Whether in Spain or Italy, the electric vehicle market is still in its early stages, which coincides with Cherry's diversified strategy of selling traditional gasoline vehicles, hybrid vehicles, and electric vehicles. Spain may become Cherry's first production base in Europe, and the Spanish government, EV Motors, and Cherry are close to reaching an agreement. Senior officials from Cherry have not responded. The Ministry of Industry's statement expresses confidence in the agreement. According to reports from Automotive News Europe, Spain is actively promoting the development of its domestic electric vehicle industry. The government's establishment of two new indicators will help release funds for electric vehicle projects, totaling 1.7 billion euros in loans and subsidies. This measure is part of the European PERT, Promotion of Sustainable and Energy Efficient Technologies, plan aimed at stimulating the research and popularization of clean energy vehicles. Although Spain's share of the electric vehicle market is relatively low, at only 12%, government funding injections and policy support may accelerate market growth. In comparison, Portugal and France's electric vehicle market shares are twice that of Spain, indicating Spain's potential in developing this field. Chinese automotive manufacturer Cherry Automobile is also actively participating in Spain's electric vehicle market. In addition to electric vehicles, Cherry plans to introduce gasoline vehicles and hybrid vehicles in Spain. In particular, the company expects to launch its first electric vehicle to the German market in the first half of this year, the Omoda 5 EV, with a starting price of approximately 37,000 euros, equivalent to about 289,000 renminbi. In other parts of the industry chain, ownership of the former Nissan factory has been transferred to Silence, a Spanish electric motorcycle company. Meanwhile, local engineering group QEV and EV Motors have also participated in the acquisition, intending to transform the factory into a center focused on electric vehicles. EV Motors, in particular, is active, not only participating in negotiations with Cherry but also planning to collaborate with Cherry under its Ebro brand to produce electric trucks and vans. This cooperation heralds Spain's ambition in the field of electric commercial vehicles. With the implementation of these measures, Spain is expected to significantly improve its position in the global electric vehicle industry in the coming years. Government support, corporate investment, and international cooperation will be key factors driving the rapid development of the country's electric vehicle industry. This will not only help reduce greenhouse gas emissions but also bring new job opportunities and economic growth to Spain. In the future, 
consumers can expect to see more innovative, environmentally friendly, and affordable electric vehicle options, and Spain may become an important base for electric vehicle manufacturing in Europe and even globally. Finally, I summarize today's video, hoping it has inspired and provided value to you. Cherry Automobile's decision to establish a production base in Spain undoubtedly recognizes Spain's geographical advantage in Europe and its strong industrial base. At the same time, this also acknowledges the Spanish government's proactive policies to promote the development of the electric vehicle industry. This transnational establishment of factories not only provides Cherry with a gateway to enter the European market but also brings new development opportunities to the Spanish domestic automotive industry. For Spain, Cherry's investment will bring advanced automobile manufacturing technology and rich management experience. Additionally, the new factory will create a large number of job opportunities, helping to drive local economic development. For the Spanish government, supporting the development of the electric vehicle industry is not only a responsibility to address global climate change but also a means to promote the transformation and upgrading of the domestic economy. It is expected that after Cherry's factory in Spain starts production, it will first produce its new energy vehicles. This will help meet the demand for environmentally friendly vehicles in the European market and also contribute to the popularization of electric vehicles in the Spanish market. In the long run, this will help enhance Spain's position in the global automotive industry chain. For Cherry, entering the European market is an important part of its internationalization strategy. By establishing a production base in Spain, it can not only avoid high import taxes but also better adapt to the demands of the European market. At the same time, this will also help enhance its brand awareness, laying a solid foundation for its development globally. This is a win-win cooperation. For Cherry, it has found the best way to enter the European market, for Spain, it will seize this opportunity to promote the development of the domestic automotive industry and accelerate the popularization of electric vehicles. We look forward to this cooperation bringing a win-win future for both parties and providing more insights into the development trends of the global automotive industry. Overall, the Chinese automotive industry is at a critical juncture of transformation and upgrading, facing both opportunities and challenges. Only by continuously strengthening technological innovation, brand building, and international cooperation can the Chinese automotive industry demonstrate stronger competitiveness on the global stage and achieve sustainable development goals. Comments are welcome in the comments section. Today's video ends here. See you next time with more exciting content. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.